there's always been a, a cult thing around mantra of people who really love it and are really excited and have come up either through yoga or different Eastern traditions. But now I'm hearing that this record is landing with people who don't know anything about it. And they're just like, it sounds cool. I, I like the mantras. They, there's something that affects me energetically about it. I don't know exactly what it's about, but it makes me feel good. We've had audiences in, you know, everywhere from, you know, China to Brazil to, you know, to Berlin to, you know, like it's, it's a worldwide phenomenon. And the fact that in some ways it's not sung in a vernacular language by and large makes it the same experience for everybody. And if you want to take a journey into the philosophy behind the mantras, you can do that. But you can also just perceive the sound, like the singing, as um, a, as a beautiful instrument. In the same way, if you listen to, say, a jazz singer scat singing, uh, you can you can feel that. It's funny. One of the best reviews I ever got from somebody is is they said, "Hey, it's really a great cure for road rage." You know, and people are like, you know, I'm like stuck on the freeway, commuting to work. And so I put in a mantra record and somehow, you know, uh, it just felt better. And I think there's also a misperception that this music is super chilled out. It's not. It's actually quite buoyant and celebrative in a lot of ways. I mean, yeah, it definitely has its introspective moments, has a lot of them. But it, it but at the same time, it's celebrating like it's a party. It's uplifting. It's uplifting. Not today, I'm on, I'm on. Not today, I'm on, I'm on. 